Hello YouTubers and welcome to the HTI Tuning YouTube channel. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Steve and I'm the Managing Director of HDI Tuning and we're a small company which specialise in the Peugeot and Citroen diesel engines. So today we're going to show you how to use a new tool which I've purchased which is called PCM Flash and you can use that to program the Peugeot EDC 17 ECU and the good thing about this tool is that you don't actually need to open the lid of the ECU. So if you look at my channel you might see I made a guide on how to use the MPPS tool with the tricore bootloader and to use this tool you have to open the ECU and then connect some boot pins within that ECU and then you could read out the memory and this is quite a time consuming process and there's a lot of risk of damaging the ECU so with PCM flash we can do this without opening the ECU so this is the ECU that we want to use this is a Bosch EDC 17 C10 and this comes fitted to the 1.6 HDI 8 valve engine and these are made from 2010 onwards, usually 2011 onwards. So other ECUs which this applies to are the MEV17 ECUs. They look exactly the same and they are the same almost. They use the same processor inside. And this is fitted to the petrol engines from 2008 onwards. So what is PCM Flash? PCM Flash is just the software that you need to program the ECU and to use PCM Flash you need the hardware. So the hardware I will be using is called Scanmatic 2 Pro. So here is what I got when I ordered it. It comes in a nice little case. And this is the Scanmatic device. This costs in pounds, about £270. It comes with an OBD lead, so this is a very powerful diagnostic tool and it does it does a lot of the stranger brands that we don't usually see in Europe, which is kind of useful. Um, you need to use module 71, which is the MED17 bootloader, you need an ECU pinout cable and this also has the power jack and this connects directly to PCM flash sorry to Scanmatic don't mix it up and in order to use this you need a dongle to go with PCM flash and this actually costs only £15 the boot cable was £40 and the Scanmatic 270. Module 71 is £240 and this is just for the MED17 bootloader. So you can also buy module 53 which gives you all the tricore ECUs so this can be anything which uses the Infineon tricore processors for example the Siemens SID807 or is actually very good on the Siemens SID 208 which comes in the 2.2 HDI vans I've been using that and it even has a way to read the password and program password protected ECUs so other options which can do the ECU without opening it there is the Magic Motorsport add-on but once you buy all the modules you're looking at £5,000 and also a very good piece of equipment is the auto tuner and this does almost everything by OBD but the reason I didn't buy it is because for some reason it doesn't support the EDC 17 C10 by on the bench and I do a lot of ECUs on the bench the first step is to connect to the ECU using the boot cable which comes with the Scanmatic if you look on the screen, I'll add a screenshot of the correct pinout. And this one here is for the Bosch EDC17 
C10. You've got two 12 volts. This is a pinout I taken from the big download of a pinout for the MED 17 boot loader from the KTM bench support. And I would add these to my website and I'll add a download link in the details of the YouTube video. Okay, so we got two 12 volt, one ground, and then we need can high, can low. So can high is white. Be careful not to bend the pins on your ECU. So the way we access the ECU with the boot loader is using, instead of a boot pin direct to the processor, we are using GPT1 and GPT0. So for the scan matching, there's a blue and green and a red and yellow. So you could see that's blue and green. So this is actually different to the pinout of the KTM bench, which comes from Dimplot. So I've written here on my screen. So GPT0 is actually the blue green of scanmatic. So GPT zero is blue green. So that's four pins on the end. Leaving GPT one to be four from the end, second row down here. And that's the yellow and red. So blue green is GPT zero, yellow red is GPT one. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so the next step, you need a twelve volt power supply, and this is not included with Scanmatic. However, there is a cable which can connect it to this and a normal benchtop power supply. So. Make sure that none of your wires are touching any of the other ECU pins because you could have a big problem there. We're going to connect the USB cable to Scanmatic to the computer, USB dongle, and this activates PCM flash. Open PCM flash. So module 71 is the Bosch MED 17 bootloader. The ECU that I am using is an EBC 17 C10 and this has a TC1797 processor. But there are also variants of this, for example, ending with 15848, it will have a TC1796 with an external memory as well as internal flash memory. So for this one, let's select that. We've got power on, we've got everything connected. This is to read the flash. It takes a long time, so what I'll do is I'll just read the EEPROM example. So we want TC1797 EEPROM. Identification. Would you like to use automatic power line control? Yes. Scanmatic has lit up and it's identified our processor here, TC1797. So we can then read the file because the e doesn't take long. Select yes. There you go. So if you're sending this to me, if you could put as many codes from the ECU as you can, because it's useful for me to have it as a backup and of course your name in the file and then I will know that it's from you so this is the EEPROM Let's save that as a dot bin because it's a binary file and if you read the flash it's the same it just takes longer um, 
to program a file, you need to select a file from here, and then you press Write. So when you use this, automatic power control, we're using the Bosch LED 17 bootloader. There isn't a password on this, so just leave it at auto. If you have an ECU with password protection, you need to first read the password and then save it. And then when you program, you can tell it to use the password which you've already saved. So program. This is just the same file that I left. If you want to read the password, you do a very simple MED see something DSL password, read the password. Do you like to use automatic power control? Yes. It's one of it's not a password. But if you had the newer blue HDI with a C60 ECU, it will most likely have a password. Am I going to show you quickly how to connect to an MEV17 ECU. So this is from one of the Petra models. There's actually, I found so far, there's three variants of this. Um, this one here, I believe, has everything on the internal memory of the processor. And there is another one which has a TC1797, which has... You will do this now. This, from what I found, it seems to be the same for all of the MEV 17s on the third day so far, but I've not had one like a top pin out yet. So I've disconnected my power. The scanmatic is still plugged in, but there's no power going to it. So this pinout should also apply to the 1.6 THP engine, because I know those are quite popular to tune. Okay, so the GPT-0, as we said before, was the blue-green cable. So, I've got one here, oh, there it is. Sorry, not blue-green, blue-yellow. So GPT-0 is that one. Check that none of the wires are contacting it. Back to PCM flash. 